th that's the thing that I was the most happy about is that in the text, uh, the words in the book, uh, they do not, they're not very descriptive. They're very broad, you know, like for instance, ornithopters are bird like machines that fly like birds, you know, that went, and it's, th there's not very much description, but there's, there's so many, it, it's a, it's a feeling that Frank Herbert is good to evoke a feeling. And, um, and obviously I went back, went back to the book and I tried to look in, look into like decipher what the little cues that Frank Herbert would have left, uh, that would dis describe the world in, in details. And, and, and some of them just for, for, for Arrakis, let's say for, for the city of Arrakeen, you know, like you understand that architecture is always a response to human needs. It's a message, right? Architecture is a message that you send. It's um, it's also a, a response to, to 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 the elements. So, with that as a as a basic basic structure, like a basic foundation of, of of architecture, then you analyze what's the world of Arrakis. Well, Arrakis, and and you put yourself in the in the in the person who founded that city. So. And that city was not founded 80 years uh, 80 years before when the Arconans started ruling. It was much, much, much before. So you have to give it a sense of an ancient world, right? Okay, so Arakeen was founded by the, 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 the empire, the colonial, colonialist empire that was going to rule for the spice, you know? Okay, so that's, that's, that's a good cue. Arakeen, Arrakis has winds that go at 800 kilometers an hour that pierce through metal, that tears metal. That's the words of Frank Herbert. The wind, obviously, you're never going to build any structure. You know, you're going to have to put them at an angle so the wind sweeps over the, over the structure. Then, Arrakis is a, is a, is a planet which heat... It's, it's the heat is unbearable to human beings. So you're trying to make the, 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 the width of the walls super thick. So just like in a cave, it keeps some sort of coolness. It's kind of a, 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 a system that will keep, you know, more coolness, just like in a cave. It also, you don't want to have direct, much direct light because because the, the light, uh, it's, it's too harsh, like the, the support. So you, so you in, think and you invent something that like light wells that will, that will distribute the light, the sunlight inside the, inside the, the rooms. And uh, forgot to say that Arrakis has sandworms, which are extremely dangerous. So you would never, ever build a city in the middle of the sand in the open desert because you seek protection from that as well, not just the wind. So, so you would probably found, do the foundation of your city in a rock bowl. So, you, so it helps for the wind, you know, it, it protects the wind and it's natural protection against the worms as well. So to create the world, you start with logic. And also Denis, Denis' approach is always like uh, been, uh, and, and, and we share the, the same approach. It's always been to, in order for people to believe in the fantasy or the most unbelievable things you need to ground them into a certain reality so it's always important to wait a minute we just you don't start like okay let's do a crazy buildings like mm. so you base on the reality the other reality is the people who found that city as i mentioned before are conquerors or like the imperial people and they want to show a force they, they want to show to the local population that they're the rulers in the book Frank Herbert writes that the residency is the biggest residency ever built by, by mankind, by humankind. So you, you, the scale, you need the scale. So the, the scale also helps to support the story of Paul Artredes, who's like, who lives in a, who comes to a new planet and it's, it's overwhelming. The science of the human is so little in that, in that space, you know, in, in the desert, the human is very little in the, in the in the in the buildings it's the human is very little so the human spirit is like oh my god 
it's it's uh, it's 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 overwhelmed by 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 the story that that it, that uh, unfolds. Also, that's the influence of uh, of uh, within you know the ziggurat architecture influence the 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 the, the brutalist mostly from from Brazil is also important because that's also the same the same the same idea behind the brutalism. It's a, it's it's the show of like take the human spirit out and just like it's like a, so so that's that is the ideas behind the city in 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 the architecture that 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 I use in the design it's to tell to help tell the story in a subliminal way you know just like the for instance in in, in Paul's bedroom that was going to lead to the to the to the to the mural um in Paul's bedroom the bed over the bed there's this big 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 uh, uh, cement like rock like place that could fall so it's that is there to represent the weight on his world so you you can't really sleep well in a in a bed which you could you can get squashed and uh, and um so that's that's also a way, a way to support the story the art deco aspect of it is is more uh, sub subliminal there there's some shapes for the lamps uh, for instance um the murals are not very art deco they're more more like uh, 70s uh, 70s uh, inspired uh, by, uh, by 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 artists uh, who, who made bronze like 70s and 60s artists from from Canada um but um yeah there's there's a lot of influence of architecture in uh, for, for for instance in um, in Caladan you know there's medieval mix with the Japanese imperial uh, architecture also um, and um, yeah so so it's, but but art deco is just in the small details for the lamps for for the tables uh, on arrakis with the with the with the border uh, with the with with the uh, with the graphic uh, details that's uh, and 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 the and also the door some of the doorways the way the shapes that the door handles uh, are made yes but it's just a little spice in the within the, that that big brutal world it's the details it's about showing a, a different culture you know getting into uh, it's 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 part of the uh, it's part of my approach it's the, the big the big scale it's to support the 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 story of the human scale in that in that big big world it's a, it's almost like Lawrence of Arabia no? for for that for that instance like the, the scope and the uh, and actually in Caladan the sets are big but they're still at a human scale that you can understand and you can on, on Arrakis, as the story evolves and the story becomes bigger, it opens up his world. Paul, Paul's world opens up to new realities, new possibilities. So the, the world expands. The details, it's a, it's in, in, in the props, in the, in the, uh, in the fabric used in the, and it's all of that. It's to show, you know, the, the finesse or the, the culture of, um, of the, of the surroundings, like. The details in, in in the big murals, the big warm murals. There's very very. There's a lot of details. There's little little, little characters, and again, it's it's a representation of the words. It's an artist's representation, and um, yeah. So it's like it's it's part of um, my 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 process. Caladan was mostly inspired by our life experience. Denise and I, like we we come from Canada, and um, there's there's a season that is very very strong for us. Be, our favorite season is fall. Fall in Canada, that and 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 I do. I'm a. I love the nordicity of uh, of, of 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 Canada because you feel the four seasons, you know. So for us, f fall, it's it's the the death of something it, it's towards the end of something you know the uh, winter will be death and then spring is the beginning of a new era 
So that is there also subliminally to, to support the story. Also, there's a certain there's a certain atmosphere uh, of of nostalgia that fall comes because it's a, you you start reminding of the past. You th think about reflecting on the past, and, and for us that's that's super strong that 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 season. Also, the the mist in the air on the coastlines of of Canada, either on the west coast and the, or the east coast, there's always this mist, this the water, the greens because of the mist, the greens are. Are are, are 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 a bit darker and then and, and, and there's little there's very very detail so it's it, so that that um that environment natural environment supports the story very well and and the moss uh the color of the moss the little yellows in the in the leaves of the flower uh, 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 the leaves of the of the trees and um yeah so so that and also the the world you know, uh, 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 in Canada and the way that this, it's described by, by Frank Herbert with the tall Nor Norfolk uh, pine trees and uh, also the oceans. So it, f it blended well and the choice of the season blends well to support the story. And also finding, you know, like uh, the, the finding the, 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 the medieval castle style with the with the wood mural, it it all blended well. Uh, I thought for uh, for the design, to, mm. to support the story. Those were were basically uh, influenced by. Um, I was uh, I was shooting once in Vancouver. And I was uh, looking at, at the uh, at the bay, and there was like these big ocean liners, you know, like waiting, and and you know, like and that 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 there's supposed to be like big tanks, you know, like and 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 the ships raised from under the water, and uh, no, they're, they're they're basically big ocean liners, and 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 they fit, you know, I I think with the with the with the Cal with the world of Caladan. Uh, that's that's basically uh, basically they're big you know like uh, big ships yeah. and, and and for the ones for the Arconans that in that uh, invade uh, uh, you know they, they attack uh, Arrakis uh, those were basically based on on, on nature they're, they're armadillos which I've squashed like that like a, a vertically vertically squashed so they're based on armadillo, the um, this, the uh, as you well as you probably uh, noticed the uh, the ornithopters are morally as opposed to being based on birds, they're based on dragonfly, and the top of uh, the top portion, the cannon portion of a stealth Russian tank, and a sculpture in a battlefield in Bulgaria. So and the flight and the, the movement of the wings are based on a B in slow motion that we that we studied. Mm -hmm. um, so it's again it's it's mixing it's mixing uh, nature uh, responding and 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 Denis want, really like really wanted us to uh, to be inspired by nature by the, the by the colors of nature. That's why Arak Arakis, you know, it's a it's it's muted color. It's all sand and beige and uh, it's all nature related. That's a good question because uh, since the book was written in the '60s, I I actually ins got inspiration from architecture, from and, and art from the '60s and '70s, which I try to. So in, instead of I try to go backwards and inspire like the future, as opposed to use the technology that we have now. Anyways, in the book. Uh, the, the 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 thinking machines are Ill illegal, so you have to go back to think about the future because nowadays our world, our technology is uh, is basically uh, computers uh, oriented. So, but um, no, uh, again, I try I try to, to 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 influence to inspire myself by by um, by, uh, by by by. by by a logic, mechanical logic, I would say.
I can tell you that there's going to be sandworms and there's going to be a lot of sand. Take the next film, as you know, the, 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 the movies in the 60s, like the David Lean movies, uh, they always had like uh, the, the, the Kubrick movie, they, they had like a, this, a first part of the movie, then there was a, a, there was a, a, a break in the movie with, with classical music and an intermission before it's mm -hmm. the second portion of the movie started. It's the same thing, I think, for this one. It's just, okay. it's just the intermission is a bit longer. I'm in Budapest actually prepping the part two. Right?